Our legal analyst, attorney Dan Adams, joins us now with former President Donald Trump's uh, a look at it, at, at least his historic trial that gets underway today. Dan, good morning to you. Uh, so Mr. Trump becomes the first former president to stand trial on criminal charges. Jury selection starts today. How will the parties pick an impartial jury here? Oh, boy, that's the that's the entire thing in this case is how to 12 people, citizens off the street with no prior qualifications or interviewing, uh, get to sit uh, in judgment of another citizen when that citizen is former President Donald Trump, the most known person and probably most polarizing person uh, in the United States. And, and th what the judge has decided to do is administer a questionnaire uh, rather than have the parties ask questions directly of the potential jurors, ask them uh, uh, questions off of a questionnaire. There's 45 questions or so that have been released to the public already. Uh, and it's the parties have gone back and forth what's going to be in this questionnaire. Uh, and from those answers, the parties will get to uh, strike people for cause, meaning that the person has identified themselves as not being able to be fair to the former president, or they both have 10 strikes uh, called preemptory strikes, which they can take that potential juror off of the panel. But again, how in practicality uh, do you Im impanel a jury uh, for this particular defendant? It's going to be interesting. Yeah. As a lawyer, how do you avoid all of the outside distractions with a case like this? Well, sometimes you can't. Uh, you know, we're all people and we uh, uh, take into account our surroundings. But what a good trial lawyer does is try to block that out and know that the medium that they are playing to, that they uh, are trying to persuade, are those 12 jurors and not uh, the cameras in the courtroom or in the hallway of the courtroom. And what's interesting in this case, uh, of course, is there will be no cameras in the courtroom. So there's a little bit of mystery going on. Uh, because in New York State, they don't allow televised trials. Uh, the, the jury selection is expected to last about a week. Really quickly, how long do you think it would be before we do see a jury seated? Oh, boy. I, who knows what type of uh, motions and, and potential hijinks the parties may play in this uh, case to try to delay the case. Uh, but if all goes to plan, it could be uh, uh, done this week. I want to talk about a case uh, here in Milwaukee that's getting a lot of attention. The man accused of killing a 19-year-old woman during a first date and chopping up her body has now been charged. Maxwell Anderson's preliminary hearing is one week from today. Now, you're not affiliated with this case, but what are the first things that the defense should be working on? Oh, boy. Well, it, it's clear to me that the investigation is ongoing, and, and we know that because they haven't recovered uh, all of, of the, the poor young woman's body. Uh, and they're still probably looking uh, for potential witnesses, uh, other electronic, uh, you know, surveillance type, uh, uh, video type surveillance that may be still out there, other types of uh, evidence. So the, the case is not done. The investigation is not over uh, for Maxwell Anderson. What the defense will do is uh, spend a lot of time with him at, at, at the jail, try to get his perspective on things and try to develop uh, a, a plausible theory of uh, innocence for him.